Hey guys, it's Chris from Steeda. Breaking news today, spy photos, first time ever, S650 Mustang, we're seeing it in the flesh. Um, I'm honestly pretty surprised, it's early 2022, but let's dive into these photos. So first off, a huge thanks to Jarstang over on Mustang 7G, the sister site to Mustang 6G, for getting these photos out on a Friday afternoon. They normally talk about the Friday afternoon news dump. This is certainly not a news dump. Check this stuff out. Kind of diving into the pictures, and obviously this is all subjective, all up to interpretation, but that's what makes it fun. So if you have anything to add, if you think I'm wrong or you think I'm right, comment below. Let's, let's talk about this. So. Diving into these pictures, there is a ton of camouflage on this Mustang. First off, looking at the headlights, that's probably the first thing that popped out at me. Definitely not what you would, or what we have seen on the S550 Mustang with those vertical tri-bar um, driving lights. These are horizontal, this is something different. Um, in addition to that, the hood shape also looks different. Now. Keep in mind, um, there are things that they do to manipulate the camouflage to make the car look abnormal or not what eventually it will be on the production car. So keep something to keep in mind there, but taking these photos for what they are, the hood shape does look kind of uh, interesting where there's like a V, kind of a, a center line and then a dome towards the back. Um, you have a hard slope towards the front, which could be some sort of um, intake or, uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure, like a super snake style hood. I, I don't know what it looks like. Um, but keep moving on. The side profile looks very S550 like. And uh, I mean, the same general, general fastback look, long, long hood, short fastback. On the roof line, um, you can definitely see that there's something going on towards the back of the roof there. Um, if I'm a betting man, I would say that uh, something was added under the camouflage there, whether it's testing equipment or something simply to throw off the visual uh, look of the car um, because they knew there would be photographers out waiting for this car to go outside. Um, we'll keep moving on. Uh, it's got base brakes, looks like an EcoBoost probably. Um, New style wheels? No, no, they look they look like we uh, very similar to what we've seen on the S550. Um, looks like there may be some additional reinforcement around the shock mount in the back. You can see that in one of the pictures here where it looks like the car is going over over a bump. So suspension changes were definitely something we, we may be seeing here. Um, what else, what else? Uh, the headlights definitely stand out to me. The tail lights, that's a different story. So, um, where are they? Yeah, here they are. The tail lights, I'll be honest, I don't think, now this is just, correct me if you think I'm wrong, but I don't think the tail lights are what is going to be on the production car. Um, we've seen other spy photos in the past that um, they actually have different tail lights that are wired in. They're almost like they almost look like trailer tail lights and things like that. Um, it would not surprise me if uh, the tail lights on this car were non-functional and something was added on top underneath the camouflage to um, you know act as a brake light, act as a tail light, uh, but not necessarily on the production car because they look a little they look a little LED -y to me if that's actually a word. Um, with the kind of the vertical bars, just one of these rear shots here where it almost looks like it's um, uh, slanted, like it's not in line with the rest. It just doesn't look uniform to me. Um, in addition to that, you see single tip exhaust. Um, that's probably because this is an EcoBoost. Looking at the rear diffuser, um, it looks very similar to somewhere between an EcoBoost and maybe even a Mach 1 or GT500 looking closely. Um, you still have the rear center mount backup light in the back. Um, not really sure where the gas cap is. You can't see that either. Um, but I mean, all in all, this is, uh, it's pretty cool. I'm just excited to see this because the S650 is coming. Uh, we've known it was coming, Ford said it was coming. Um, 
and to see uh, this soon, this early in 2022, seeing spy photos, that means it's going to be a fun year um, seeing these uh, these cars rolling out and testing and uh, the test mules doing their thing, whether it's on the racetrack or on the street. And uh, ultimately, uh, the camouflage slowly comes off and we'll be able to slowly see what this car would potentially look like um, in production form. Well, that about wraps things up for the S650 Mustang. These are the first spy shots we're seeing, so please comment below. Let us know what your thoughts are. Is there anything we're missing? Please let us know. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more S650 content as well as anything Ford and Mustang right here at CETA.com. And don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.